Okay. Hello. This is another Ace Guitar. Now, this is gonna gotta be short. I mean, really short. Yesterday was short, and it was a half hour. I can't do another one of those half hour shorts. But, I was digging for uh, another Kiss Guitar, and I came up on this one. Now, I'm not saying anything about it. It's uh, an Ace Freely. Gibson. Ace Freely. I don't want to give too much away. I want you to go ahead and tell me what you think. I think it's beautiful. I don't see any flaws. I've taken it apart. Looked it all over. I mean, because I do that with Gibsons and Epiphones, or whatever. But, what do you think? To me, if it looks good and it plays good, it's a good guitar. And sounds good. Now, this doesn't have the pickups I like. This has got the PAF crap. I would rather have a Super Distortion. So, uh, that's the thing I got, because somebody asked me, did you get those, uh, that line, remember they did that, you know, I don't know, 60 guitars or 90 or something like that, and they were the, this, kind of, I guess, and everyone, some came with three PAF pickups, some came with three Super Distortion pickups, some came with who knows what the hell and they all sucked so like the guy who asked me I had one he says this I can't remember which him but he the guy told me he had one but he sent it back because it was a piece of crap I sold mine too because it was a piece of crap why keep a piece of crap if it plays like crap and it's gonna be you can only have so many guitars that look really nice but play like crap I have a few of them I don't need any more I want them to at least be able to play. So this one is nice. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
pickups need to be. So what do you think? What is it? What is it? I'm not telling you. I'm not giving you any close-ups either. You tell me. What is it? Is it fake or is it real? That's it. So you're gonna want a story. How about an A story? I think I told this one. I don't have many because I've only met him a couple times. But uh, so this was 80s, down at the Rainbow. Actually, me and my drummer Rudy, we went to see Ace play at uh, somewhere, some theater in Hollywood, and uh, then we went to the Rainbow, and we were leaving and. Here comes Ace walking in. So I'm like, whoa, wait. So I stop, and I'm like, Ace, really, dude? I just saw you play tonight. He's like, I really, man. He's wasted. I'm like, I don't have a pen. Uh, do you have a pick? And he's like, pick, pick, pick. you know, he does his laugh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to sound like Mr. Krabs, but there you go. Ace really laugh. And he's like, Pet a pick, and he's like, "Yeah, I do." And he pulls it out and he gives it to me. I'm like, "Cool." Says, "You know, Fraley's comment." And I'm like, "Cool, dude. Thanks." Shook his hand. He's like, "All right, rock on." And he's like, "Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, rock, rock on, man." I'm like, "Rock on, dude." And I'm looking at my drummer like, and he's just like, stunned because you know we were both Kiss fans, but for some reason it was way easier to approach him with no makeup if he would have like came in fully decked out i probably would have froze <laughs> but you know it was just ace and we just saw him play and he was so he gives me a pig and then i look and it's the damn bass player it's not even his name because each one had their own pick and it was so I've got two Ace, three Ace really, four, no, like six now, because after the reunion, I was at every single show, and once he started throwing picks, I would get one. So I have one from every show up until the reunion, uh, the, the final, the other final tour that happened in, in 2000 or whatever, the, uh, when they ended it then, and then they started it up and then started it up and now they now this is the end 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 that's gonna last for three effing years we haven't even gone through the first year yet they just started january the first year will be next month we got two more years to put up with this crap and they'll be here I, because see to me kiss is dead the kiss now when i went to see him at the forum there was a few moments of Oh, you know, when I was a kid and I first saw him there. And, and from a distance, you get the same vibe, kind of. But then when you look with your little glass or you look at the monitor and you're like, that's a 69-year-old Jewish lady. <laughs> it's like, eh. But... You know, if you would like not look at it, not looking, not try not to pay attention to fake Freely and his curly hair that drives me nuts. 
more than anything else, at least Eric Carr tries to look like Peter Chris. He wears the official Peter Chris wig. He does. His hair is long and blonde and still. He just puts it up in a bun and they put on the official Peter Chris wig and he goes out there and does his job. But Frank Freely can at least, if he's not going to wear a wig, straighten your stupid curly hair because it looks dumb. Ace Freely never had curly hair. He had the coolest hair in the band. I thought. Me. So, nah, that's my story. I mean, the other one is uh, when Peter Chris, with his band, I don't know, it was with, he had a girl singer, and they played, they just played the uh, Gazaris. I mean, the drummer, Rudy, that were in there, and we were trying to book our band, Trick or Treat, for Gazaris, because we were getting ready to come out and start playing. We hadn't played our first show yet. So we already had two shows booked. We had four shows booked. Two at the Troubadour, Joshua's, and somewhere else. And then after the first show, we had six months booked. But we won't get into that now. So anyways, Peter Chris played, and then we decided to split, and... Uh, you know, we were hanging out, me and Rudy, you know, picking up on, uh, what do we call them, Skid Tramp, Skellerellas. I call them Skellerella. He'd call them Skid Tramp. Girls. And uh, we're standing out in front of Gazari's, and Rudy's like, I got to pee. So I'm like, go pee. So he's he, he can pee anywhere, you know. The guy's a tripod, too. It's ridiculous. He's like five feet tall and... Think about it. If it's a tri he's a tripod, it's stupid. Why do these little guys always have these, you know, elephant tusks or elephant trunk things? So he goes around to the side to the parking lot, and there's Peter Chris talking to Gazari. And it's about some kind of, uh, you know, he's thinking he's being short, shorted on his pay, Peter. So he's arguing with Bill. And Rudy just walks behind Peter and starts peeing. And then he stops and he's like, you know, because I'm looking at Peter Chris, I'm trying not to look at, you know, I couldn't really see and I just knew what he was doing. I couldn't believe Bill was facing him. No, Bill was facing that way. So there was Bill facing Peter who was facing Gazaris and Rudy peeing on Gazaris. So he turned around and peed on Bill Gazzari. And he goes, what the hell's wrong, you stupid wham? And he hits him upside the head. And, you know, Rudy just starts laughing. And he zips up his pants and he comes down. And Peter Chris is like, what the hell was that? And then he looks at me and I'm like, Peter Chris. He's like, and then he starts talking to Bill Gazzari again. And they just start talking. Bill Gazzari just got peed all over by Rudy. But that just held him for a second. So there's your story. You tell me if this is what you think this is, and that's it. Subscribe, comment, and do all that crap. I gotta go. Later.